create and collaborate over complain and condemn, you are about to step into the lives of thousands of people, not only the students in your classroom, but all of their families and their community. Those are people you will never meet. And you are leaving your legacy on this world through the students that are in your room. This is your opportunity to effect change in people in a way that most people never can even fathom. But it comes from you. And it comes from that moment on the first day of school, your very first year, where you step into your classroom that first time and automatically step into lives of thousands of people. And if you choose to be the maker, the creator, instead of the person that is going to be downtrodden and to complain about what's not right, if you fix what's not right with your voice and your choices, you have the ability to change so much in education. When I speak to pre-service teachers about what they need to be effective that first year, I always call uh, the things that I talk about to them the four A's. And I'll tell you about those now. The first A is ask. You have to ask for what you need to be successful in the classroom. My first year of teaching, I took on a third grade long-term substituting job. I was asked to do it three days before school started. And I walked into this room where there were five filing cabinets. And I couldn't open any of them because they were so full. And around the room, everywhere I looked, were the California raisins. This teacher loved California raisins so much that they were everywhere in this room, but I couldn't find a single thing that I really needed to teach. And I was so overwhelmed and I was so afraid to say anything to anyone other than, it's great, I have everything I need, because I didn't want them to think I was inadequate. But the truth is, when you choose not to ask, and everything is about choice, whether you're a student or a teacher, when you choose not to ask, who you're really hurting is your students. You have to be the one who, if you don't know, asks, what can I do for my students? What do you do at this time of year? What would be the best thing to do on the first day of school if you don't have anything to do on the first day of school? You know, you have to be the person that's willing to speak up and admit that you don't know everything, because none of us do. We're all learning from one another. The second A is anticipate. The art of thinking ahead is something you develop your entire teaching career. It's something that I'm still working on, but you have to start thinking ahead as you plan things for your classroom, as you plan for the future that will make your students successful. And you get to be a good anticipator by knowing your students. Really look at what they need, what they're like, how they interact with each other, because every class is very different. But you have to develop the art of thinking ahead. Who would not work so well together on this project? Who's gonna need more time? What can I do if this takes too long or if it's not long enough? That art of thinking ahead and thinking about what you can go to when, if you need a plan B is what's going to help your classroom run smoothly, help you feel successful and keep your students on track so they keep on the track to learning well and being good students. Now. The third A is advocate. And this kind of ties into ask, but it's a little bit more defined because advocating for yourself and your students is so important in teaching. You know, you have to be the one that is willing to be that voice. You have to be willing to lead. And by leading, that means that you have to say what you need to be successful. What's not working right? What do you feel is wrong? about education and that needs to be improved. It's okay to say and disagree and be the one who says and stands up for what's needed in your room, needed for your students, needed for a child that is struggling and that's going to fall for the cracks. That's your responsibility as an educator to be the advocate. But along with that is advocating professionally. You know, we have a wealth of resources to us online to get our voices out on social media. And social media can be a powerful tool for reaching out to the world in a way that will transform this profession. But you have to do it in a way that is professional, otherwise your voice will not be heard. The greatest way to silence any teacher, whether it's you or another educator, is by putting something inappropriate on Facebook or Twitter. Things like that automatically put a dent in your credibility. When you choose to use those platforms to to be negative and be rude and do things that you really are going to regret in the future. 
those platforms are a wonderful way to reach out and connect, but we have to do it in a way that's going to lift the profession up and not drag it down. So please advocate, but you've got to advocate in a way that's going to move us forward and not hold us back. And the fourth A is to adapt. Everything is always changing. It's changing faster than we can be comfortable with it and be ready to implement it. Change is inevitable and change will always happen. Right now, it's common core and data analysis. By the time a pre-service teacher who's just enrolled enters the classroom for the first time, it will be something else for sure. It is always evolving, but you have to be willing to adapt for the needs of your students and for the atmosphere in your classroom. You've got to do things that will take what you're given in that instant and make it work or allow you to still be that innovative, happy, don't forget to be happy, that person that is going to bring joy to your room and to the lives of your students and their families. But if you choose to be the reactor in a way that is a positive role model for your students, how do they, should they act when things are thrown their way with, that are going to possibly, potentially, negatively impact your classroom if you choose to be that positive force and be that one that rolls with it makes it work for the time that you're in that room by being a good adapter you are going to move this profession in ways that you can't even fathom as you start your career